G'day guys, Daniel here from TBL Daily. Um, thanks for sending in all those questions. I've got about seven or eight I need to get through. Um, I'll get stuck into them straight away. Dylan Adkinson um, sends in, the O's usually carry 13 players. Right now, it's Jones, Diaz, Lowe, Pierce, Davis, Scope, Hardy, Flaherty, Machado, Young, Weeders, and a backup catcher. That's 12, who gets your 13th spot? Uh, great question there, Dylan. Um, Look, to be honest, I think it's a bit too early to call. I think we need to see how spring training goes. There's obviously a number of candidates. Jimmy Paredes is a chance. Um, that's what Steve Lombardozzi, who spent a bit of time in the outfield with Norfolk last year. Henry Arrudia, almost a forgotten man. Let's see um, how he goes in spring training. Never know, he's a chance. Um, he certainly put up some good numbers for the O's when he did get his chance was it 18 months ago now, whatever it was. Um, then we've got the youngsters, Christian Walker, um, Dariel Alvarez, are they ready? I'm not sure. Um, they could probably benefit from some time down with Norfolk still. So I reckon they're probably some of the options at the moment. However, don't rule out the Orioles signing um, another outfielder, um, hopefully within the next few weeks. Thanks for the question, mate. Um, next is Matt Duckworth. Um, g'day, Matt, how are you? Um, Matt has sent in three questions. I'll quickly go through them. What are the chances what are the chances the Orioles sign Ichiro? I don't think it's going to happen, mate. Um, I think if it was going to happen, it would have happened by now. Um, the Orioles are probably moving forward now, and I think signing a 41-year-old probably doesn't fit with that plan, but I could be proven wrong. I have been before. His second question, um, would trading Davis, Weeders, or both of them be beneficial or detrimental to the Orioles? Um, I mean, as always, it depends what you're going to get in return. Personally, I don't think it's worth even exploring at this stage. Davis had a pretty poor 2014 season. Weeders obviously had the biggest injury of his career in 2014. What would we get in return? I, I don't think I don't think it's worth exploring right now, to be honest, mate. Um, hopefully both of them can come back strong in 2015 and help the Orioles push in towards the playoffs again. Um, Matt's third question, what's your opinion on the Orioles offseason so far? Um, in a word, I think it's been pretty frustrating. I'm sure you all agree. Um, look, to be honest, I think losing Cruz um, and Miller was always expected. I, I didn't see the Orioles really re-signing them, um, especially Miller. Um, Mark Hagas was definitely a shocker. I, I didn't think he was going to go. Um, that's, I mean, it's debatable how big a loss he is. Some people say it's a, quite a big loss. Others aren't so sure. Um, at the end of the day, Mark Hagas was Mr. Consistent. You know what he got in, in in the outfield. He was fantastic gold glover last year. Um, and he's always going to hit between 270 and 300 at the plate, um, even if he had a bad season. I think you know, 270 is still more than respectable, as we know. Um, missing him in the leadoff spots is going to hurt the O's. Um, as yet, I don't think we've replaced that, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, throwing the, the saga with Duquette and the Blue Jays over the last few weeks, I mean... It seems very similar to last year. A lot was going wrong. Obviously, we had you know the the signing of Grant Balfour, which which didn't eventuate. Um, the Orioles were quite slow to, to pick up um, Cruz, Jimenez, that type of stuff. So again, pretty frustrating. But we know how it turned out last year. So let's keep our fingers crossed, hey? Um, thanks for your questions, Matt. They were really good. Uh, next question comes in from Mr. Nadibo, um, as he goes by on Twitter. Who do you think the O's can pry away from the Blue Jays for? Um, for Dan Duquette um, good question um, there's been quite a bit of talk today um, about 22 year old pitching prospect um, Jeff Hoffman um, however as I'll just quote this um, as noted by Rock Kabako in his piece for Masson today quite rightly he notes that the Blue Jays can't trade him now as per MLB rules and that's because he hasn't served a year or it hasn't been a year since he was drafted however as Rock puts um, it could be for a player to be named later, which obviously could could be suffice. Um, I also asked Masson Steve Maluski whether he thought a big name bat was a possible option here. Um, however, he he noticed he noted he would be quite surprised if that was the case. All the talks of Jose Bautista, that type of stuff, I wouldn't be holding our breath for it. Um, so to answer your question, who do you think the O's will, can pry away? I'm not even going to answer it because I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's uh, let's hope it's something significant though, if that does occur of course. 
Cole Otis. Um, I hope I've pronounced that right, Cole. I've, I think I've struggled with that a couple of times, actually. Um, who will yourself and the Orioles miss more next season? Nick Markakis or Nelson Cruz? Um, given his great 2014 season, I think the Orioles will miss Cruz um, in, in his production the most, um, more than Markakis. However, um, I can't see Cruz putting up those numbers again, um, especially now that he's not at Oriole Park. But, again, I could be proven wrong. Um, and best of luck to Nelson. He was fantastic for the Orioles last year. Um, by all reports, fantastic on and off the field as well. Um, he carried himself quite well. From all reports, um, the loss of Mark Hagas, as I said, is quite significant. We know what we're going to get with him. Pretty consistent. Um, but, again, um, you know, one of the better Orioles, certainly over the last decade. Um, and wish him well with the Braves. Um, in terms of covering the loss of um, of Cruz, hopefully Pierce and, and Davis can, can cover some of that loss. Um, Delman Young, a bit more of a roll out of him would certainly help cover some of that loss. Um, as for Makagas Diaza, um, he was pretty impressive in 2014, to be honest. Um, can he sustain that over a full season? I'm not sure. But uh, let's hope he can for the Orioles' sake. Thanks for your question, Cole. And the last question comes in from Anna Matson. Um, out of the players who missed the end of last season, in particular Davis, Weeders, and Machado, whose return should make the biggest impact? That's a really good question um, and something I've, I've commented on a few times. I think it's easy to get carried away that you know the Orioles haven't signed anyone, but there's a lot of improvement to be made from last year, especially with these three. Um, personally, I think Machado is probably going to make the biggest impact. Um, last year, Davis's um, loss was probably covered from Cruz's uh, fantastic season as well as Steve Pearce's improvement. Um, combined, they hit well over 60 home runs. Um, so I think that covers that covered that loss to some degree. Weeders, um, I think Caleb Joseph was sensational behind the dish last dish last year. Um, and he really started hitting quite consistently towards the end, second part of the season as well. So did Nick Hunley. Nick Hunley really came good towards the end of the season as well. So I think we covered the loss of we uh, Weeders quite well. Machado, I don't think we did. Um, as we saw, there was a bit of instability with the infield, especially later in the year, um, as well as Machado's ability to hit those clutch doubles. Um, I think uh, you know, he, he's a freak. He's fantastic. He's one of the um, best young players in, in, in baseball, as we all know. So I think having him back will probably help more than the other two, um, push the Orioles towards the AL East title. But again, all three of them are uh, you know, fantastic baseball players. Um, and let's hope they can combine all help push the Orioles into um, another AL East title and a little bit further than, than we achieved last year. Thanks for the question, guys. Um, I think that's probably about it for now. I'll touch base with you again probably just before spring training, um, as always. Let's talk baseball. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, um, search Dan Clark or the Big Leagues Daily. Um, I'll be putting up some pieces previewing the spring training um, in the next week or two on tbldaily.com. Um, hopefully I'll still be writing for Masson again on a weekly basis this year. Oh, that's still to be confirmed. Um, and guess what? I'll see you on opening day at Camden Yards. So I'll be there on the 10th and the 11th to watch the Orioles and the Blue Jays. Flying 10,201 miles. Um, Amy and I, we're getting married on the 20th of March. It's my Bucks Day in two days, so that could be a big one. Um, and, yeah, we'll see you there on our honeymoon. See you guys.